here with John Crick, national football writer for the Toronto Sun and for Post Media. John, you have your finger on the pulse of the Patriots Jaguars AFC Championship game going this weekend. The number one story, it's it's pretty obvious. You, you can't miss this one. Tom Brady, his health, and how it might affect the outcome of the game. Where do you stand on that in regards to, uh, you know, do, does it swing uh, the game in, in the Jaguars' favor if he doesn't play? Or are are the Patriots okay even if, if, if Brady is, is not 100%? I think it, even more than most years for the Patriots with Tom Brady this century, that uh, if Tom Brady is at all hampered, by this sore right hand, which got bumped into by a teammate accidentally at Wednesday's practice, if he can't say, say he can't throw deep balls very well, and they take that out of their arsenal, the Jaguars pretty soon into the game are going to know it. And they're going to know it because this year in particular, Brady and the Patriots have relied on more deep passes than usual. So it is definitely part of their arsenal. There were some years when they had Edelman uh, or Wes Welker, those kind of guys that they just predominantly threw it short. Well, this right. year, the deep ball right. with Brandon Cooks is a big part of their offense. It's it's going to be noticeable by the end of the first quarter if, if there's something wrong with his hand that won't prevent him, or that won't allow him to, say, throw it deep uh, or throw it with zip. The Jacksonville Jaguars will know, and they had the league's best pass defense this year with the, probably this year the two best starting corners in Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boulay. They will be all over those Patriots receivers, and it's important. Of all games he's played in the playoffs in his career for Brady, this one might be the most important for him to be able to throw it deep. So it's a big factor. Let's talk about gamesmanship, or let, let's say the lack thereof. Um, we have the Patriots saying a lot of nice things about this Jaguars team, and that's sort of not what the Jaguars are used to because last week they used uh, motivation in their opposition uh, getting up in their face and, and kind of questioning how good they were. W- what do you think of this situation, this strategy by the Patriots? Yeah, it's, uh, this is what they always do, though. With Belichick, you know, uh, God knows what happens to players that ever provide bulls and board material to the yes, other team, yes. especially in the playoffs. I don't think we want to know the uh, the draconian 13th century torture techniques that he might <laughs> inflict on the poor player, but uh, of all weeks, especially as you say after the Steelers last week provided wheelbarrows full of motivation uh, in disrespect uh, for the Jaguars, uh, the Patriots this week have done nothing but say how great they are, and that's exactly what you would expect under Belichick and the, and the Patriots, and we'll see um, what I expect the Jaguars to do is they are just taking the general disrespect. In other words, the betting line, people thinking the Patriots will win big. Almost every pundit on ESPN in the States, on every other broadcast, and in all the newspapers, they're all pretty much picking the Patriots not only to win, but win big. So I expect the residue from that will be the Jaguars still being able to use as motivation the fact that everybody hates us and, and disrespects us and thinks we don't have a chance. They still have enough ample motivation from that. Okay, so you talk about predictions. What's your predict, prediction of, of, of the AFC final game? Score and winner. Uh, the Patriots, I think, will win. It's, it, their success rate at home is in the playoffs is, I believe, above 80%. It's crazy. Um, their likelihood of winning, especially when they're at home. This is their seventh consecutive AFC championship game. They've been here before. They know the pressure. They know the circumstances. The weather is supposed to be uh, okay. It's not going to be like it's a blizzard that might even it out or anything like that. So the fact that they have all that experience, I think, will help. Um, and But I said this last week in my prediction <laughs> for the Steelers game. I thought the Steelers would win, and I will throw the same asterisk. If the Jaguars win, it will not surprise me. This is an up-and-coming team that is shooting up. This team reminds me very much of those Seattle Seahawks around 2012-2013 when everybody was withholding, uh, heaping all the praise on them, going, wow, they haven't won anything yet. Lo and behold, in that second year of, of their playoff journey, 2013, they not only made the Super Bowl, but they blew out Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos. And then at that point, everybody said, okay, these are great players. This is a great team. And and they got all the respect that they uh, deserved at that point. But they had to do it first. So is this the game where the Jaguars do it? Possibly. It would not surprise me, but I do believe the Patriots are likeliest to win. Plenty, plenty of intrigue going into this weekend. The AFC final game should be a treat. For more from John Crick, visit torontosun.com.